So in this video, we'll walk through the steps of doing breadth first search. And then in the next video, we will code it. So I'll bring up our tree and in breadth first search, we're going to start at the top. And then we're going to fill these in across each row like this and push all of these into an array and return that array with those items returned in that order. So I'm just going to move this over here and I'm going to bring in a couple of arrays, one that we're going to call Q and one that we're going to call results. And the results array is going to be the one that we return at the end of this. So in order to get these in the right order, we're going to need to use both of these. And we're going to push that top node first into the queue. And I want to emphasize that this is the entire node. This is not just the value from the node. I'm not going to store it like that. I'm going to store it like this. I'm going to keep it blue. So we emphasize that it is the node since that's the color of the nodes. Then we're going to shift that item out of the queue. And we're going to take the value and push it to the results array. When we put this in the results array, we're not putting the entire node in there. We're just putting the value. But because we put the entire node into the queue, we have the value and we have right and we have left. So we can say for the 47 node, what is to the left? Well, that's going to be the 21 and we can add that to the queue. To the right is a 76 and we add that to the queue. So we're going to have a loop that removes items from this queue until this queue is empty. When the queue is empty, we will have visited every node in the tree. So the next step here is we are going to remove that 21 node from the queue. We're going to shift that off and we're going to do three things. We are going to take the value and put it in the results array. And then we're going to look to the left of the 21, which is the 18. We will push that into the array. We will look to the right. That's the 27. We will push that into the array. Once we're done going left and right, the next step is we are going to shift off that 76. The value goes into the results array. And then we're going to go to the left of the 76, which is the 52, push that onto the array and go to the right. That's the 82. So now when we remove the next item from the queue, we shift off that 18, the value goes there, but left and right is null. There isn't anything below that 18 node. So then we go to the 27. There's nothing to the left or the right. And the same thing for the 52 and the 82. Now the queue is empty. We can remove the queue array from the picture here. And what we're going to return is that results array. So let's look at the order that these numbers came up. The first one is the 47. The next two are the 21 and the 76. And you can see that this tree exactly matches the other tree. And that is breadth first search.